Hi guys, this is Rahul here and I am from myview.rahulnavy.net that is my blog. So in the last section we have seen couple of things like uh, some crucial pieces let's say um, how to create a simple angular module and then um, how to write a simple controller and with this controller in place uh, uh, we have seen how to data bind the elements in that index view which is this one. Now the fact is uh, with that every piece is in here what I like to do here is like um, do some modifications here with that routing in place um, but as we all know that routing is no longer part of this core angular piece uh, it is now a separate library which is angular route I have already installed that library let me show you that so this is the one angular route and angular route um, and angular route main so this is the thing which you can install from uh, NuGet itself and what you need to do here is um, go to references manage NuGet packages search for angular and here angular route will come so as you can see this is already installed so this is the way you can install the uh, dependent in script now before that um, so the first thing which I like to do here is uh, uh, creating our first route so here what we do here is like uh, let's say app and one more thing before that I like to show here is uh, um, if you go here uh, in the resharper section and extension manager right I have installed one more template to help me with that uh, Angular IntelliSense and that is called AngularJS Code Compilation, Code Completion and Live Templates. So this is the thing which is helping me for writing Angular app um, in a quite faster way. Now let's try this, writing first. So here it will take route provider. I think signature is wrong in that function it will come now looks okay now the syntax of this route provider is very simple so I have already constructed one piece here let me just go ahead and put that so when route provider looks for this default route uh, that is nothing but the root of that app then it should head to that movies CTRL so that is nothing but movies controller and my template URL will be app app home dot html so this is the one which i was talking about that i'll be touching this particular directory so based on that let's create one architecture over here so here i will like to create one folder home and under that one html page so home dot html now what I would like to do here is just delete this entire stuff because this will be the portion which is this particular div, entire div. So I will just cut this from here and put it here. Now this is the portion which is going to be injected in my home page index.cshtml and how it is going to do that. So this is going to achieve that with ng view so you can see that now this intelligence is working me with all that angular stuffs so here it is going to uh, take my this template url and this particular home dot html so that's done now what is missing here all right so here uh, one more thing i need to do here is like uh, for the time being um let's suppose 
I don't want to specify this OBS controller directly from here rather than that I show you another trick that how to do that now let's go ahead and create one controller here same convention which we which we have used for data.js similar stuffs will be during here so here let's do something like uh, <laughs> angular dot module and our module is movies app I guess yes correct now this module will be creating one controller which will have name movies CTRL <clears throat> so CTRL is basically a uh, um, suffix which I will be uh, I have been using just to specify that okay this is my one of the controllers so that is easy to identify the steps over here now this also needs similar things scope right and um, I will be doing this data binding here. Not movies equals mock data. Now I would be needing this mock data as you can see here, it is uh, uh, undefined, right? So, how so I need to grab this guy and I can simply come in this piece out here and uh, take this place from here so here it came my mock data now my this particular piece of controller is completed so <clears throat> In the last section, I was talking about uh, refactoring the stuffs in a different folder. Like, uh, I mean, uh, this particular uh, architecture looks cool, right? So your home page is there, and uh, respective uh, controller is there. So similarly, if you have so many views, so you can have different folders under app folder uh, from client side perspective, and that will get handled here. So this is a very good isolation from the server side code what we are having here. So. I actually try to follow this particular convention over here. So this is the one thing and um, here in data.js I like to specify a few more things. As I was talking like um, this particular app needs to depend on some other module. So that is nothing but uh, our ng route. Now one thing to note here from where I am getting this ng route in order to specify that if you open that scripts folder angular route here you will see the module name so this is nothing but ng route and and, and as you can see that uh, this ng route is dependent on core angular module this is nothing but ng so that's the one thing so that's why we have a specified here ng route now this controller is currently commented and but it needs to be injected from somewhere because we have created here so currently I will go ahead and inject it from my bundles piece so my data is already injected here and uh, as you can see here I have already inserted angular route one of the dependencies right which is needed here for routing so this is done here so let's inject this piece also
so this is in app home movie CDRL dot js okay now let's build that okay build fine let's close that so now with luck if I go and try that if looks like I have done everything correct so it should it should not break the app all right now everything is coming properly but this time it is coming with a different behavior as you can see here here I am loading my controller here it is coming my router so this is how my angular is getting routed and um, here is that data.js where uh, I have simply let me clean this out as well because we do not need that so now this piece is pretty clean this looks very clean here is this is the main file which is having your app module which is movies app another thing is it is having some configuration where it is taking a route provider and setting the route here but I like to keep these things like uh, saying that I like to have that controller as well here rather than coming from that bundle config this is one way but uh, let's do it that way but before that let's fix something else and let's see the what's the time so this particular section I'll be covering in the another one but before that um, let's fix some design issues over here I do not like this uh, monotonous design which is given by Microsoft by default rather than that I would prefer some other theme so for that I will go to the boot swatch and here I would grab United theme um, United and superhero are my favorites so from here if you see this this will look like this uh, presentation and look and feel will be something around like that so for that what I need is bootstrap in CSS file so I can open this in a new and just copy that and here I will be having that CSS main file right everything is there right so here what I do is add new style sheet let's get it. united theme all right done rather than that let's say united dot main dot css because this is a main file right and uh, in the bundle piece where bootstrap is getting loaded i would simply say bootstrap dot united dot main dot css and with build and when i refresh this app this should give me a little different behavior what united theme was giving me there in boots watch so you see that uh, the look and feel now got changed this is looking quite interesting and some beautiful thing so in the next section we'll see that uh, how to achieve more with the routing and adding few more routes in an actual way till then stay tuned and happy coding thanks for joining me